Minasan, konnichiwa. Welcome back to Misha Speaks. So I've recently been accepting to the JET program for the 2023 year and I'm super excited to share everything with y'all. So today I want to talk a little bit about my experiences applying for the JET program. <laughs> what the JET program is. The JET program, also known as the Japan Exchange and Teaching Program, it provides an amazing opportunity for individuals from around the world <clears throat> to live and work in Japan. And as a participant, we have the chance to immerse ourselves in Japanese culture, make lasting connections, and gain valuable teaching experience. So I first heard about the JET program back in 2018. I had just begun self-studying Japanese and I was super curious about what living and working in Japan would be like. So I came across the program when searching for the best way to live and work in Japan. So at that time I had no degree, no certificates to teach English and no connections. So I did what any interested party would do. I went and got what was required to apply to the program. So I kept studying. I eventually um, went to seek a bachelor's degree in Japanese. Um, I became an ambassador for Duolingo and hosted a Japanese language chapter here in Memphis. Um, so we learned about Japanese language and Japanese culture and we hosted different events uh, across the city. So with the knowledge that I had been gaining from self-studying, I started to teach people what I knew. And so in that, I started to kind of flex my teaching muscle, which is, you know, kind of a thing that you want to do if you're going to go into the JET program because you're going to be teaching. So I don't know how it all came together, but I'm so glad it did. <laughs> so the application process was quite competitive and it was a whole bunch of stages but with a lot of preparation and dedication it's definitely achievable and attainable for sure. So I had to submit an application, I had to write a statement of purpose and provide letters of recommendation and so then I went through an interview process after getting through that to showcase my passion for teaching English and my knowledge um, of Japan. So it was actually not that bad. I answered a few I answered all of the interview questions with ease, ease and I even timed out on the Japanese language portion of the interview and so we just kept talking in Japanese until like my time was up and that felt like really good. It felt like all the work I had been doing came to fruition. And so I actually right now I want to share an excerpt from my statement of purpose because to this day it's something that really lifts me up when I read it. So learning about Japanese in Japan changed the trajectory of my life and my career and I want to share that transformation with others in Japan and here in the US. I'm speaking a new language and learning a new culture so that the world will be new. I want everyone who needs a reminder of who we are to look to me as an influence and an example of what greatness can come out of the humanness to deeply connect with one another. <laughs> I just believed in what I had to offer. I believed in me, the person. So now, you know, since I haven't actually left for Japan yet, let's talk a little bit about what happens after you get accepted into the JET program. So the period before departure, departure is crucial for preparation. One of the first things that I did was get a background check by the FBI, you know, as they want to make sure you're not a smooth criminal. <laughs> Next, there are things like your certificate of health, um, your jet accident insurance form, um, and then obtaining a visa, which can take a lot of paperwork and some time. So also, if you're like me, you'll have to get an IDP or international driver's permit as well, so that when you get to Japan, you can just immediately drive. You also need to start researching and familiarizing yourself with wherever you're going to be in the custom and cultural aspects of that place. Um, for me, I'll be living in a small town called Kusu or Kusumachi, and I've been looking at things in the town, things to do, uh, places to grocery shop, schools for our daughter, and that type of stuff. So what I'm most excited about actually is having a pool in the town to go swimming in. And not like the swimming where it's like a beach ball and having fun, but lap swimming 
it's something that I really did a lot before the pandemonium in 2020 and I really want to get back to doing that. Additionally, it's just a great idea to begin learning or brushing up on your Japanese language skills as it will really enhance your experience and your interaction interactions with the natives. So I'm super glad that I took my time to really learn Japanese. You know, it's going to make things a lot less healthy. So one of the wonderful aspects of the JET program is the support provided. So before leaving for Japan, there are a whole bunch of pre-departure orientations and information sessions that you can go to that really help participants understand the program provided, <clears throat> the program and provide guidance for living and teaching in Japan. So these sessions have been so good for my anxiety. And they answer so many questions that you might not even know that you have. So the JET program coordinators um, and alumni are also available for you too and to answer questions and offer assistance in making the transition just a little bit less hectic and overwhelming. So I've been in touch with JETs in my town and they have been such an amazing help with um, professional things and personal matters. So it's really good if you can get in contact with them. So the JET program offers numerous benefits, but it's important to acknowledge the challenges as well. So on the bright side, Participants will receive a competitive salary. They will have opportunities to travel within Japan and beyond that and develop valuable professional and personal skills, obviously. However, it's crucial to be prepared for potential language and cultural barriers, um, adapting to a new work environment and adjusting to living in a country, in a different country. So there is no place that's free from problems and Japan is not an exception. So it's all just going to be a part of the growth and learning experience, no matter the challenges that you face. So as I haven't left yet, um, I wanted to mention my plans for the future. So I intend to document my journey um, extensively, sharing vlogs, um, insights and tips to help aspiring jets and people just come to Japan in general. I hope to provide a glimpse into the everyday life of a jet participant, exploring the beautiful landscapes of Japan, visiting landmarks, and just immersing myself in the culture and in the language. I hope to showcase the challenges, joys, and definitely cultural experiences that come with this remarkable opportunity, you know, to live and work in Japan. That's going to be a wrap for today, guys. So um, if you have any questions about the JET program or anything about learning Japanese or Japan, just leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, speak a new language so that the world will be new. Jane.